I know you're not a U.S. Marshal. I'm a U.S. Marshal. Right. I know for a fact, 100%, you are not with the U.S. Marshals. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little tip, pro tip, okay? There's only three of us in this county. You are not one of the other two. That's a pro tip. Summerfield, Florida. 52-year-old Derry Wayne Lambert is about to be arrested for impersonating a U.S. Marshal. Amazingly, he clings to his story even after a real U.S. Marshal tells him in no uncertain terms that he is full of it. See your other hand for me? Where are you headed to? Okay. Do you have your driver's license on? We'll see you with the purple lights. Yeah, they're purple tonight. Where are you headed to? A shooting in Mary Hunt? Put that to 10th floor. Hey, sir. So the vehicle is your vehicle, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I'm just looking. I'm looking for something to verify that you're a U.S. Marshal. All right. Uh, one the voice emails. I left him a message. Okay. All right. Yeah, just I hang gotta, tight. With I got to go back to shift in about two hours. So where's shift at? Um, where's shift? I gotta at? get my car. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Hopefully we can get this resolved really quickly. All right. Thanks. Hey, we got somebody on the phone who wants to ask you a few questions. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sir, what is your name? Derry Lambert. Okay, what district do you work out of? I work out of Texas, but they got me down. They got me down in Florida right now, looking into uh, Marion Oaks. There's two gang member, two gangs out there that are riding on a four wheeler with a pole on it. Busting into people's houses, okay, so and they got a call. So I chase. What's that? What district in Texas do you work out of? Dallas. Okay. In my second house. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Just I got red bugs out in the in my sleep. I'm sorry. I him, what's that in weeds? I got red bugs. Eat me up, chase some guy through the forest the other night. All right, do me a favor. Just go ahead and turn around for me. Dan, put your hands behind your back. For what? I'll explain it to you. Well. All right, so you're going to be arrested for impersonating a police officer, okay? I'm going to go ahead and read this to you, okay? Right. And who do you work for? Who are you employed by? The United States Marshal, sir. U.S. Marshal, sir. Okay. Um, you told me that you don't have your credentials with you, but they're in your... Yeah, my charger. In your charger. A work vehicle? Right. Okay. Who's the charger registered to? It's, just, it's registered to the Marshal Service. Marshal Service, okay. That's my personal vehicle. So why would the marshals outfit your personal vehicle with lights and sirens? In, in Texas, it's not like here. Okay. You, you don't have cars like this. We you have a have Florida truck. tag. I know. Turn, turn the knob on. Hey, how long you worked for the uh, U.S. Marshals? About three years. Three years? Okay. One on it. I'm sorry? I'm finishing up at Votech and with Lacucci right now to go to work for Marion County. So. To do what? To be a cop. Yeah. Coming down the road, I get a call on my cell phone. Hey, they see the four out there on the drone. Can you come help us? Who's that? So I called you. My squad in Texas. If you look through my phone, you'll see the 941 area code. By squad? What do you mean by squad? They sent three or four of us down here. Who is they? The Rangers. The Rangers? Which Rangers? 
Like the baseball team? No. Hell no. Okay, so what I'm Rangers? Crazy. The Marshals. The Marshals? Yeah. I'm so sure. what um where do you work out of Texas? Dallas. Dallas? Yes. What's your district? District. What do you mean? Well, we just if have you're a quarters of the county. If you're a U.S. Still, Marshal, still you would know your district. 641. 641? Okay. That's our squad. Okay. But there's only a few of us here. A few of you? Would I be one of those? No. I'm not a U.S. Marshal? I don't know. I see a badge. Well, here's my credentials. I am actually a special deputy U.S. Marshal. Yeah. Here are my credentials. Yeah. Mine are in my car. These, I, your credentials I, like I this have, are in there. I have one just identically to that. Okay. I, I would say probably not. Because I'm asking you very easy questions to be able to identify yourself and you're not. Who's your supervisor out of Texas? My supervisor? Yes, sir. Your direct supervisor. Uh, Jim Willis. Jim Willis? Yeah. What do you do? For the United States Marshals? Well, I normally just do raids. Raids? Yeah. Okay, who do you work for? I just told you twice. Like, okay, so where, do you work for the Fugitive Task Force? Do you work for the District Marshals? No. Do you, work, who do you I, work for? I work for the Task Force. You work for the Task Force? Like people running, we do raids. All I do is rage. Tell okay, me. listen to me for just a second. I'm going to give you a little bit of an out or whatever. Right. Um, I know you're not a U.S. Marshal. I'm a U.S. Marshal. Right. I know for a fact, 100%, you are not with the U.S. Marshals. Okay? okay? So I would just want to know why you would try to identify as a U.S. Marshal. Was it to, like, get around traffic? No. Okay, so what were you trying to do? I told you twice I was responding to a call. With the U.S. Marshals? Yes. You, okay. You don't know about the drones out there flying over? Sir, there is nothing know. like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little tip, pro tip, okay? There's only three of us in this county. You are not one of the other two. Okay. That's a pro tip. Okay. 